Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we were talking about how um, some users are being um, are seeing. Net, there's definitely a push towards a Windows 11 on Windows 10 machines, and this is something that I actually witnessed here. Uh, with my Acer uh, Nitro uh, laptop. So this is a gaming laptop that I had purchased uh, a few years ago. And of course, it does have all the minimum requirements for Windows 11. But I had kept it on Windows 10 because it really didn't matter much. And it was only mainly driving on my 65-inch uh, uh, TV in the living room. So I just left it there to Windows 10. And um, there was an update um, you know, a little icon on the bottom taskbar that tells you that there's an update that's waiting for install. And that's when I looked at what update it was, because I was curious to see what update exactly you're pushing. And it said Windows 11 23H2. So basically, it was already pre-installed. All that was needed to have it uh, officially there was um, to click the restart button. So I, I, it, it was there. I had no choice. I had no choice in, um, you know, do I want it or not? It was just, it's here and, and you're getting it. So um, I've seen some people tell me that they've had Windows 11 pushed without them even doing anything. And I was not sure, but uh, yeah, it seems that it's happening because it happened on this uh, Acer Nitro machine. Now, um, is it working fine? Honestly, it is. Um, I've yet to find any problems. It just changed a little bit the way that things are, like, you know, the taskbar, of course, the start menu, the centered start menu and all, uh, and the new settings and everything. But overall, there's absolutely no problems. It's working perfectly. So anyways, it's going to stay there. I'm not going to roll back for sure. I like Windows 11, so I'll be staying on Windows 11. But beware that that could happen to you. Uh, because I didn't ask for it, and it actually just happened. So this is interesting to see. So um, surprise, surprise, as we see. <laughs> so some of you that might not want to have Windows 11, uh, this this is something because, I mean, there's still, um, you know, almost, what, a year and a half, more than a year and a half before end of support, plus there'll be three-year extended. Um, it's kind of uh, interesting to see Microsoft just, forcing people up to Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.